So for the daily routine, you wake up, you catch up on your breathing. Because most people are being traumatized in their dream. Dream means drama or trauma. Most people are not addressing traumas. They're not fully breathing. They're not addressing the life before them. So their dreams are a place where they catch up on basically spiritual debt or whatever you want to call it. So you, you, you're addressing your traumas and your dreams in an unconscious fashion. Then you wake up behind your, on your breathing and you act out based on the emotions you feel from those dreams typically. So when you consciously breathe upon waking up or rising, then you catch up on your breathing and you get perspective on all your emotion. So you're going from the, the ether or the air to the fire, which is light. So you got to go out and get some sunlight, move around, move the blood around. And then from there, you're going to go from, I like to go with the hot water. Hot water would be the best thing. Gets all the, the moisture in the joints, keeps all your joints fluid. So then from that point, then you can stretch, do your calisthenics. So you, you're breathing the light charged air to heat up the body, to keep the blood flow going. Because you're oxygenating the blood when you breathe properly from your diaphragm like a baby would teach you. You're breathing properly to where you're feeding the muscles because that's what feeds your muscles. When you get tired from running or working out, you breathe, you get behind on breathing. That's what feeds the muscle. That's what feeds everything. So you catch up on your breathing. You move around to shift the blood around. Then you drink some hot water to lubricate the joints. Then you stretch that further moves the blood around. So now you're at a state where you have went from air or ether, you got fire, you got water, and then the whole time you're stretching, you should be doing it barefooted so you get earth, so you get grounded in earth, so you get all your elements. Those are all your light meals. Those are all your lightest meals of the day, and the further you get from that, the more dense you become. So those are your light meals. Then you go up the ladder and heavy, dense meals if you want to weigh more because it's a compensation game. You create lack. Then you say you need more, which means you hold on to more uh, emotional weight because you have a mental sense of lack. So that creates emotional baggage, which creates physical baggage. And we know this. So if if we want to maintain physical baggage for a sense of momentum to have things going for us in a 3D fashion and, you know, manifesting in that way and staying stuck in the 3d realm if we want our emotion to stay stuck in the 3d realm then we of course reach for more dense forms of light and then if you're going to do that you work your way up the ladder with that as well you go from melons to more dense forms of fruit however it is you go from the d and the t and you're going from the t and herbs to capsules does it that's the dense the denser form you're going from light to dense it's just all depending on how how much you want to pay attention to your own life for me i'm getting up breathing hot water stretch take a walk a mile up a hill breathe again come down depending on my state of dehydration where i'm at if i ate anything the day before or not that it depends on how much water i need for the rest of the day and i know that if i you could look at it if I need water, that means I would have to either breathe tr- twice to try to get the water out of the atmosphere, depending on how dry the atmosphere is. Multiple times, I'd have to breathe to compensate to try to get that distilled water out of the air. Or I'm just going to have to drink it and then drink the emotion because that's what water is, emotion. So that's pretty much my morning. From there... When the sun is at its highest point, if I'm going to eat something hot or something uh, something heavy, I make sure it's at the warmest point of the day when it's, the sun is at its hot, when everything is hot, when it's hot, so I can burn off this, whatever this dense thing is, as best I can by the end of the day so that I can go to sleep light as well. And I go from light to dense around the high noon to going back to light, whatever the, the relative scale is. If you're going from air to melons or if you're going from melons to quinoa whatever your state of being is then you go at noon say if it's quinoa then you're going back down from that to something more light until only thing you're getting is air and hot water before bed then you'll remember your dreams or your traumas and you'll be able to move forward and then the herbs on empty stomach wormwood and black walnut 
that'd be the best. Um, the burdock is a gentle herb that is just it's perfect for so many things, liver and skin. 